I'm here with Soma Brown Bramble and she is the director of the CTO, the Caribbean Tourism Organization for North America. And Soma is going to be telling us today about the investment forum that's coming up on June 9th as part of Caribbean Week in New York. Soma, why did you think the CTO felt it important to add this investment forum for the first time to Caribbean Week in New York? Well, the Caribbean Tourism Organization is responsible for finding opportunities for its member countries. And um, one of our mandates also is to engage the Caribbean diaspora. Every year we try to add new elements to the Caribbean Week calendar of activities that we think will add some benefit, some value to our membership. So when Felicia Poussin approached me about the possibility of adding an investment component, I thought that the timing was perfect since um, in this economy, our member countries are asking stakeholders to put more investment going and to keep the economic activity in the member countries. We thought that this investment forum would give them an additional opportunity to meet investors and talk to them about the potential for investing in it um, so that they can now say to the stakeholders, not only do we want you to invest, but here are some prospects um, for investment funding. And why is it important for entrepreneurs and investors especially to participate in the June 9th event? We're, I know we're having it at the New York Marriott Marquis. Well, um, we've, we've taken the time and done the research to find um, Angel Network and capital venture capitalists to come in and speak with us about sources of funding, what the benefits are to um, investing in the Caribbean, what the pitfalls are if they see any, um, that have probably prevented them from investing in the Caribbean up until now. Um, this is the perfect opportunity for the diaspora and other investors to come, network with these investors and find out how they can get a little piece of the funding that's available for investment and put it into the Caribbean where it's so sorely needed to help with the development. And who else are going to be there from the CTO and, and its member countries? I mean, who are some of the folks we're expecting? Well, the, the ministers and directors of tourism, we yeah. all expect to be in New York um, during Caribbean Week. So several ministers of tourism, including the chairman of the CTO board of directors, um, ministers carried from St. Kitts, so Caribbean Week, we have an average of about 20, 25 countries participating in the activities. So we expect quite a large number of ministers and directors of tourism to be um, here. Our, from our secretariat, all of the directors of the various divisions will be here. Um, we may even have a proposal or two to present to the investors when they come to Caribbean Week. No, oh, wonderful. And range of types of investments, opportunities across the Caribbean because it's such a vast region with so many different countries. Well, um, the, the opportunities range from small sustainable projects to the larger projects. Um, our focus is on the government, so although I know most investors are looking for investment in the private sector, we would want to drive that through our government members. And Selma, I know there are lots of people who may not really uh, have been to the Caribbean or know much about the Caribbean region. They hear a lot more about Latin America than they do about the Caribbean region today. Yet the Caribbean is a huge emerging market. It has so much potential. Give us just a brief overview of what you feel about the Caribbean today exactly. What do you see in terms of the people, the demographics? Um, you know, how exactly is it? Is the Caribbean in 2011? Well, um, the Caribbean is affected today by the economy as most other destinations, or most of the regions in the world. Um, but the Caribbean is um, the warmth, the uh, vitality of the Caribbean is what we bring to New York during Caribbean Week. So when we come to New York and say Caribbean Week is taking place, we, we expect to showcase to the, we plan to showcase to consumers the vitality that is the Caribbean, the diversity that is the Caribbean. Um, the region is made up of hundreds of islands. We cover a wide range of cultures, of cultures, of languages. Um, there's the English-speaking Caribbean, the organization represents the Dutch Caribbean, the French Caribbean, and the Spanish-speaking Caribbean. And in those cultural language groups, we have the, the Chinese, and we have the Indian influences, and we have the influences from Africa. So the Caribbean is a melting pot of cultures that could be found 
I, I would venture to say nowhere else in the world. Um, the Caribbean gives to the world the best in literature and art and drama and, and culture. The, the Caribbean has, a, in the Caribbean, education is very important. Um, some of the destinations in the Caribbean have a workforce that is 98% um, lit literate. Um, those are the kinds of standards that the Caribbean sets in education. Most of the destinations, as small as they are, have some level of um, tertiary education and um, students are encouraged to aspire to um, excel in, in any field that they wish to it's in the Caribbean. Um, there's so much talent in the Caribbean and it's, it's the thing that I think um, lots of consumers go to the Caribbean and are amazed that in the small islands of the Caribbean we export so much to the rest of the world, not just in terms of goods and services, which we do, but in terms of talent. And um, wherever you go, the Caribbean, people from the Caribbean are probably the most intrepid. They Give us the date and time again and the place so folks can get more information. The date is Thursday, June 9th. We start at 7.30 in the morning with networking and we move into presentations. Um, we end at 9.50 at the Marriott Marquis, New York City. All of the information on Caribbean Week, including the investment conference, can be found on our website at caribbeanweeknny.com.